Dear brothers and sisters, this is Christopher. In this video, I want to share with you a dream that I received on the 23rd of November, 2018. This dream is about battling demons, defending your homes from demonic attack. So in this video, I'll share with you this dream. I have some other videos on this topic, some other dreams that I've received on this topic, but I'll share those in another video. So. Um, in the dream, I was upstairs and uh, I felt evil and, um, I felt evil coming and I got up and I saw someone walk up the stairs and it was a stranger and they had taken the form of someone that I knew from high school and, um, I knew there was no place for a random person, especially someone supposedly from my high school to be at my house at this time of night. So I knew it was a demon and I immediately began to cast it out in the name of Jesus Christ. And, um, in the dream, my friend, um, oh, I, my voice was bound. It became bound and I couldn't speak. So, um, the demon was approaching and it had bound my voice so I was not able to speak words but I continued to cast it out in my mind so if they do that if they bind your voice continue to focus on Jesus in your mind and you can continue to be effective in this manner and you can continue to be casting them out in the name of Jesus Christ in your mind um, but if they do bind your voice be calling on the name of Jesus in your mind. So then my friend, she cast out the demon as well. And then when she began to cast out the demon, my voice became unbound. So then I joined in in casting out the demon. And it was a strong demon. It was very resistant to being cast out. And I was saying, I cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to leave. And that's what I was saying. And the demon was resistant and like saying no and like um, trying to speak jumbled words so that it would distract us. That's something they do, another tactic that they do. You need to be very focused when you're doing um, casting out a demon. This is just from what I've experienced in dreams. So I'll share this with you because I believe it is helpful. So then the demon was being cast out and it was like backing down the stairs and then it was going slowly and I it got a bit impatient and it was halfway down the stairs and I was walking down the stairs like casting it out still repeatedly saying commanding it to leave in the name of Jesus Christ and um I um I like um went and kicked it and um I kicked the demon in the head and um because I was up higher on the stairs and I kicked it in the head and it was like I was kicked a um like I kicked a concrete pillar, <laughs> it did absolutely nothing. Um, so yeah, another reminder that physical things do not work on these demons. You need to be relying on the Lord Jesus Christ and not your own strength. So I kicked him and it like it was like I kicked like a, a wooden pole or a concrete beam or something. It didn't do anything. And then I just resorted to continually casting him out and then he left. He left and then... And then the dream was that I went back to sleep. I woke up again and I felt evil. I felt something coming up the stairs. And I got up this time. I was like ready. I was not hesitant. I got straight out of bed, walked over to the stairs. I looked down the stairs and I could see nothing. But I felt evil. And I said, um, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to reveal yourself. And then the demon that was invisible revealed itself right next to me and it was a demon, and it was invisible. So you can command them to do things in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember that. And it once it was revealed, I then began casting it out again. And it was again a persistent battle. It was trying to distract me, but I maintained focus and continued to cast it out in the name of Jesus Christ, believing and having faith that by the power of the Lord, by the power of his spirit, the demon would have to obey. So it did, and it left. Then I was downstairs, and 
there was other people over at my house and um, um, I went to the front front of the door and I knew that demons were coming to attack our home a group of them and um, I went and my mum was near the front door and the front door was open the wooden door and there was a screen door there the screen door it was unlocked so someone could just walk straight into the house so um, I was trying to close the door, but it was difficult. And then my mother came over and she helped me to close the wooden door, the front door, and I locked it. So that was a good sign. Spiritually, that's a good sign. Um, it showed that I actually needed the help of my family member to close off the door of access. So then I went back down and um, I went into the bathroom. There was different people over at my house, people that aren't usually there. And um, someone was in the bathroom and they were like, like manicuring themselves or doing something to themselves that wasn't really necessary. It was a bit weird. And um, I said, come and help. Like the demons are attacking. We need to like defend. And he, he was just like, was like not interested. He was too busy, like, um, like looking after himself or whatever. Um, I don't know what he was doing. It didn't seem like it was necessary. And then I went down into like the bottom bedroom and there was like two friends that I know. And um, I said, come and help. Like demons are coming to attack. We need to defend. And it was two men and they were in the same bed together. But um, they weren't um, homosexual. But um, they were just in the same bed. And um, they were sleeping. And when I said that the demons were coming to attack, this was like a, a man who was like a strong man. He was like built, he's got muscles and all that. And he, when I mentioned the demons were coming to attack, he was like, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, I'm staying in bed. <laughs> so they both were too scared to come and help. Um, so I went back outside by myself into the, to the lounge room and um, the back door was unlocked. So they opened the back door and they walked in and there was 20 of them and they looked like people and um, they were young, mostly young men and women. The men, some of them had beards. I knew um, in the dream, some of them worked for like uh, different corporate jobs and marketing, advertising, diff different jobs. And there were women there and I knew they were all demons and, um, they were trying to take things from my house and I believe for the purpose of like trying to frame me or trying to entrap me or snare me or something like that. And, um, they were led by this one man and he was very enraged and he had taken one of my books that I write my dreams in and he was like walking out to leave with the book and I was commanding him in the name of Jesus to drop the book and I commanded him twice and he said, no, I have my own commands and he like turned around and was like trying to walk away and I was like no I command you in the name of Jesus to drop that book and then like part of the book fell out of his hand and he still had like a few pages left and then I saw like when I commanded him the the last time and he was he had 20 other demons behind him I commanded them in the name of Jesus Christ to leave and he dropped that book and then I saw like a flash of light come out like across them and I knew the Lord had strengthened me um, because I didn't have the power to cast out these demons um, obviously we don't cast them out by our own power it's by God by his power by the Holy Spirit but the Lord strengthened me and um, the demons all left they all walked out the back and they were all angry about it but they had like taken different little items from my home and as they were on the back porch, they were all like talking to each other as if it was like a social gathering for them. Like they don't get to communicate that much when they're in the flesh like this or something like that. And um, I commanded them to like leave behind anything that you've taken. And I saw a number of them like pull stuff out of their pockets and like drop it on the floor. I commanded them in Jesus name to do that. And then they were all like talking to each other and I was like commanded them in Jesus name to leave quickly. And then they all left. So, um, 
it was a battle. Um, it was a real battle and um, it was a struggle. And only by the Lord was I able to like cast out those demons. And I asked for help in the house that I was in. Like no one was going to help me. Um, those two men, they didn't want to help. The other man I saw in the bathroom, he did not want to help. Um, so it's a pretty interesting dream. I believe it is uh, showing that like we need to battle for our homes, battling in the spirit against the forces of evil. And we do this by abiding in Jesus Christ, who is the word of God, by reading the word of God, which cleanses us and gives us spiritual strength because it is the bread of life. And by our prayer and by doing these things, we become strong in the spirit and by opposing the enemy in Jesus name, we can have victory over them. So that is what I did in this dream. And it was interesting where my, in the dream, my mother helped me close I close the front door, which is, I believe like is signif signifying a spiritual opening into the home and it was closed, but the back door was not locked. So there are certain things that allows demonic um, access into your home, but you can counteract that as a Christian by walking in Christ and battling against the demons so that they are cast back out of your home. So that you keep your home free from the demonic forces. So um, um, that is what this dream is about. We need to take the battle and clear out our homes. And I remember I asked regarding prayer for um, one of the demons who said he was setting up in my home to like um, attack my family or whatever. And um, he seemed like a strong demon. He had underlings. Later, I had a dream that I... Um, I crushed some demon by the power of the Lord, and I believe that was him, so I've crushed that demon. So, um, more keep coming, um, stronger ones that's fine because I have the Lord Jesus, and that's all we need. We need Him, and um, He is our strength, and we just rely on Him and seek Him for our deliverance, and He is so good to us. So, I wanted to share this with you that. When the Lord gave me the word of defend yourself, defend your families, including your children and your health. Um, I was speaking about physical defense, which I believe it applies to. But of course, it applies to spiritually. Defend your home spiritually. Defend yourself spiritually. Defend your family spiritually. And in this dream, it was showing a, a vigorous battle against the forces of evil uh, in the spirit. Um, so when the demons have access to your home uh, you want to try to close off any access ways for them into your home and to shut the spiritual doors that are open and to lock the spiritual doors that are unlocked um, that will put you in good stead so that the demons don't have easy access into your home but um, uh, not everyone's family is christian and um, so there can be things that will happen and the enemy may come in and you can fight them back in the name of Jesus. And by your conduct and by your abiding in Christ, you will have the strength to repel these kinds of things in Jesus' name by his strength. So um, seeking the Lord always to deliver you and um, not relying on your flesh, but relying on the Lord Jesus. So that's what I want to say in this, in this dream. Uh, one other thing that I forgot to mention was um, when I cast out those 20 demons, um, there was other people behind me, more people in the home who did not participate in the battle. I believe that may be significant, uh, signifying that maybe like other Christians or other believers are not um, doing their responsibility in terms of like opposing the enemy. Maybe they have a compromised walk. Maybe they're not abiding in the Lord. So they're not, they don't have the strength through his spirit. Um, I'm not sure the reason, but there was a number of people in the home, like strangers. And they said, they were amazed um, that I cast out those demons. Not me, it was by the Lord through me. But then they said, like, um, they said, oh, wow, like, I can't believe it. Even like a total 
beginner in Christ can cast out demons in his name. It's so amazing. So that was a really interesting thing. I wanted to mention that because um, that's, that's the truth. Even a complete beginner in Christ who has the faith, they can cast out demons. They can oppose the forces of evil in Jesus' name. They can take their thoughts into captivity to obedience to Christ. They can do that. They can abide in the word. They can be strong and in faith and through Jesus Christ. They can be powerful against the enemy. And you don't need to be a Christian for all this amount of time. You need to have faith and trust in the Lord. And um, he mentioned that. And um, I thought that was really significant because it is true. I was asking for people to join me to defend, to battle. And I would anyone who believed would have been helpful. Anyone who would have just joined me and just said, I cast you out in Jesus' name and believed and were able to like not be fearful, that would have helped. So this dream also shows that when my friend and I were casting out the demon together, it gave us more strength. We did it as a team. And when my voice was bound, um, she was casting the demon out. And that freed my voice. And then I was able to, we were both able to cast it out together with more strength. So working together against the forces of evil is so important. And it doesn't take, you know, I've been a Christian for 10 years. I need to be, know all the Bible. I need to, no, what it takes is faith and trust in Jesus. That's all it takes. You could be a believer for five minutes and, um, and do that. So um, I just wanted to share that with you. I believe that's encouraging. Um, yeah, I find things encouraging regarding these things, even though they're involving topics of demons and our spiritual enemy. The Lord shows every time through my dreams, there's always a way. There's a way, and it's always Jesus Christ. The way is always Jesus Christ. How do you overcome sin? Jesus Christ. How do you get saved? Jesus Christ. How do you defeat the enemy? Jesus Christ. How do you get strength? Jesus Christ. How do you do works? Jesus Christ. The answer is always Jesus. Um, how do you love? From Jesus Christ. All things come through him, from God the Father. He is with us. He is the word of God. He is with us in our hearts. And he and the Father make their home with us who keep his word. So, just... just um. All of these things I share with you are to train you to rely on Jesus Christ, to trust in him and to take the battle to the enemy and to defend your family, your home and um, be an intercessory prayer for your family, for your home, for others that you know, your loved ones and for your nations, for the world, for the unsaved, for your believers, for our brothers and sisters in Christ. So I just wanted to share this dream. I love you, my brothers and sisters. May God bless you and your families, your brother in Christ, Christopher. <laughs>